Quick start modeling. Let's create a cube and then let's scale it. We need it somehow exact with numeric values. So let's use the transform boxes here at the side. Such a couch table is a meter in 10 to 70 and the table plate is around 3 cm thick. We need to start a bit smaller since we want to extrude out a few parts. So let's start with 0 0.9, 0 0.5 and 3 cm thick. That's a bit small. Let's zoom in. Let's say the couch table is 45 cm high. So let's position the table at its final position. This has to do with that every modeling action is relative to the mesh scale. Means there is no way to type in the length of the feed in world coordinates. We will extrude the feed at a later point simply down to the ground. Now comes the actual modeling. First let's apply scale before we go on. The reason here is that a non-uniform scale can make trouble in edit mode, since the scale in edit mode is relative to the initial scale. So let's apply scale before we start to model. It's about these values here. Go to object, apply, scale. Now we have one in every box. Let's enter the edit mode. This can be done down here in the drop-down box or with hotkey 2. Modeling happens in edit mode. At the moment everything is selected. Press hotkey A to deselect everything. This can also be done here in select, deselect all, hotkey A. And we are in vertices select mode. At the moment we select vertices but we need to select faces. So we have to go to face select mode. This can be done down here. Vertices, edges, faces. These three buttons here are also hotkeyed. Y is uh, vertices, X is edges and C is faces. Now let's select the front face. Turn around and select the back face. Hold down shift and click at the second phase. This adds to the selection. And we choose extrude individual. This extrudes the individual faces into their directions. It's a bit too much. Have a look down here. Here comes the settings. And here we can adjust the amount. 0.08 is enough. So let's do the same for these faces here. But this time we don't choose extrude individual, but extrude region. When we choose extrude individual, then we get faces in between because it extrudes individual. We don't want this. We want extrude region. It's hotkey S and again adjust the amount. Same here. Hotkey S and X adjust the amount. And we have created four faces that can be used now to extrude out the feet, which we do now. Again, hotkey S. Let's pull them down. Switch to a side view. This can be done here. Turn on the widget. Go to translate and pull down the feet to the ground. The red line is the ground. Nearly done. Let's rotate back and select these faces here. Again, extrude out, adjust the amount. Same for these faces here. Extrude out the amount. The other faces here. Ah, the widget is in the way, turn it off. And the last is here. Adjust the amount. Oh, lucky one. 
and we are done. We have a table. Save the result.